Hello, uh, my name is Brett Lashua. I'm a senior lecturer in the Carnegie faculty here at Leeds Metropolitan University. And uh, I've been invited to offer a short screencast on the ways that I use Prezi. I've been using Prezi for about four years now, and I find it is a wonderful and very powerful way to visualize my lectures. So we'll just uh, log in in the right-hand corner. If you don't have a Prezi account, all you need to do is sign up. It is free to use. Um, with a pretty um, good package uh, just right out of the box for free, 100 megabytes of storage. Um, the Prezi's don't take up very much space online. I've upgraded to uh, include a little bit more storage, which uh, costs about 60 pounds a year, um, but there's an educational discount on that as well. So let me log in. So what I'd like to do to begin with is uh, just describe Prezi uh, as an alternative to using PowerPoint. Uh, it's just a way to visualize your lecture content and material. In its simplest terms, it's a three-dimensional space. It's an empty box. And when you create a Prezi, if we're going to create one here, you can choose to move around within that space in any way that you wish. So you can uh, move between any objects, which may be text, uh, images, uh, video files, and so on. Prezi is described as a zooming editor, which means that you can literally zoom around anywhere within the box or the presentation space. It simply means you can connect your ideas in a way that you think makes the best sense. So just to get started, um, there are templates. I'm going to start with a blank Prezi because I find it far more exciting. Just as a very basic example, it always opens up with a uh, frame. This is a circular frame. We can move it around. We can make it smaller. We can make it larger. And we can zoom out if we just mouse over this little uh, edge of the Prezi screen, we can zoom out as well within the presentation space. So if we wanted to start out with just a simple um, example to show how we can move and zoom, I'm just going to call this frame number one. I like to start out with a question. And this is a good place to start a lecture, perhaps. And then I just want to add frames within the frames. So I've moved up to the menu bar at the top here, and there are frames and arrows which we can insert. This is akin to putting a new, um, a new window within a window. We can insert media in the second um, menu uh, tab here, and then the third one allows us to change background themes or even customize our themes if we want to change colors, fonts, um, and uh, background. I'll just keep it simple for now. We'll start off with some basic frames. And I'm simply going to insert another circular frame within my first circular frame. And you can put it anywhere that you want. Uh, I like to make pretty designs. <laughs> so I'm just going to call this second frame number two. We can change the font, whether it's italicized, um, smaller, or thicker text. Um, we can change that font size just like the regular tabs in PowerPoint, or the color. Although you'll notice if I click on color, change it to red, I make it bold and italics, and so on. I'm just going to move that there. And you can see that it gives us um, some locking frames if we want to keep our text centered. Um, so in my second uh, frame, I'm just going to talk about some theories, perhaps, just as a rough structure for creating a lecture. And then I'll put another circle frame within my other two. And now it's getting hard to type into a smaller box, so I'm just going to activate this frame just by clicking on it, zoom to the frame, and I'm going to call this one number three. Put it up there, and let's just call this uh, practice. And we could go on infinitely zooming in and out. If you have a, a wheel on your mouse, it's I'm just uh, zooming in and out by using the, the mouse wheel at the moment. You can insert other kinds of frames, of course, if you like uh, invisible ones so it doesn't show any outer boundaries or edges or brackets. This is good for including uh, bullet pointed lists. So I've just, all I've done is insert the frame, clicked on the screen, and you can see there's a way to insert a bullet point here, and I'll just call that one too. 
So now if we wanted to create this as a presentation, all we have right now is uh, three circular frames and a bracket frame. And the way that Prezi uh, works most powerfully is by zooming um, sequentially between any objects or frames that we wanted to select. And the way that we do that is on the left hand side with the edit path function, just select the edit path. And you can see that um, it says click on any object to add it to the path. So my first one is my big circle here. Anything I click on when we present, it will zoom to that item. So I'm just going to go to my second circle, to my third circle, and then to my bracket frames. Say done. Now just to give a, a quick uh, whiz of an example of this, um, in a lecture uh, setting, just hit, click present on the left hand corner there. It asks if you want to use the keyboard controls, so the, the uh, arrows um, right or left on the uh, computer keyboard. I like to allow that. And so this is what my presentation would look like. Start off with number one, go to number two, number three, and then my uh, bullet points in the, the bracket frame that I've used there. Very basic, um, nice way to move um, within and through a presentation. I'm just going to exit uh, this very minimal uh, first example and show how we could use one of the uh, built-in templates that Prezi offers. So I'm just going to click New Prezi. And it's uh, a huge selection here, um, sorted or categorized between the most recent Prezi's or uh, a whole um, selection of quirky backgrounds. What these offer are um, a built-in framework or structure. So if we were to open um, one of these, say, examination, for instance, it would start with this frame as a background, and then we could populate the content, and it would move through the sequence of numbers here. I'm going to search for a, a template called the Road Ahead, which uh, uses a far more um, evocative, for lack of a better word, background image as opposed to these sort of cartoonish images that most of the presets have. And again, all that it, it offers you is the structure to populate as you wish, so the title of your lecture. Um, and these aren't very different from PowerPoint frames, PowerPoint slides that allow you to move from one, two, three, four. Where I think this becomes a little bit more interesting if we zoom in after step four and we created an invisible frame. Uh, it allows you to choose the size. It's just telling us with that four, uh, three aspect ratio that, that that is about the size of a um, the computer screen. When I insert the frame, it, it's automatically added it to my path. And I'm just going to say uh, sunshine because we see so much of it here in Yorkshire. And now if we're going to present this As a presentation, uh, we can move through the steps. You could have added content as you wish, and then we get to um, the image without any of the um, background information.